Not blanks. Oh, don't play, believe in blanks, boy. Believe in the fucking shorts. If you looting, we shooting. Mafia, mafia, yeah. abandon, mafia, yeah. abandon. If you are looting, we are shooting. Because we got no food to eat, no sinkwam, nothing. Yeah. The community of Phoenix and all over are standing up to just protect the property and the family. We always know these problems come from the criminals. They always want to do this and they are pursuing to come out here and loot. Apart from the normal house breakings and I mean, basic things that you see people getting raped, the houses are getting broken into. I mean, that's 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 just the basic. But I find this here something totally totally out of the ordinary. Because I mean, as 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 a country, I doubt anyone has actually seen this. These guys didn't expect the people of Phoenix to stand up against this because we've been, always been the soft chickens. It, it's not racial, we just stood up here to protect our families. And if you see, if you come out here during the day, we are protecting even the Africans from the township. And, and peaceful, they come here and do the shopping. We could have said, you know what, we don't need your guys here. This is for our own people. It's not. It's for everyone. Like, to my personal feeling, this was po political and somebody asked them to do it. And if you really look at this whole thing, everybody wanted this to take place because nobody put measures in place to stop this quickly. I think the community just wanted to identify the bodies in that site and then no one is allowed to go and identify because there they are, they, they are these rumors that there are so many bodies that are lying over there in that, in that Phoenix place. People, they don't have jobs. Unemployment rate is much high. And people are also hungry. People are also cruel. All those things are mixed together at this time in age. Because we cannot say we are hungry and then we go and steal the, 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 the furniture. That is not food. So for me, I can say seriously, seriously, it was about looting and destroying things. It was not about only hunger. There are so many people from the area who were looting. Almost everybody were going out and looting in the shops. My, my neighbors, in fact, was coming from work at, at Pavilion. Uh, they shoot him and they, they burn uh, his car on Monday. And on Tuesday later, uh, we get uh, developing news that uh, two two members of, of this community they are, uh, they are shot dead at Phoenix, and they are burned their cars. And one of the the boy, uh, 15 years old, was go to buy uh, at Phoenix, and they, they kill him. Uh, they throw him through the, the river, and they found their their, their body in the in the river. No, for my personal view, they were right uh, to protect the shops. 
Because at the end, we need the shops. We need to buy. We need to protect the, 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 the economy. The ANC, what did to us is that they promise and then they stabilize our mind in that we're going to do this for you all. And then that thing, dependency syndrome, is within us now. We do dwell in that one. So we dwell in the past. Yes, we can't be equal. Not at all. We can't be equal at all. But we all need a, 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 a life to live. So we believe that if ever we can be given that chance of the, those who are in power, listen to us. Because what I know is that those who are in power, they are less of uh, information also. They don't know what we need. And what the people that know what they need, they don't have power. It is clear now that the events of the past week were nothing less than a deliberate, a coordinated, and a well-planned attack on our democracy. The constitutional order of our country is under threat. But what is most devastating is the toll that these events of violence have taken on people's lives, on their livelihoods and sense of security. The human toll will take much longer to repair. It was very, 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 very so in my heart to say, Ish. it's like I'm not a rear guard the way it was happening. I've got no shop now. I've got no shop uh, to buy things. It's a problem now. We need to go far when he was buying things close. No matter, so, no matter so many, many people is for the, they was working to this mall, they're not working now. And I don't, I don't think if this mall is getting right, when they were going to come back as things are like this. This thing I look like it can be two years maybe to, to come right. If you come right, the way I, I see it. We were there when no other newspaper dared print on a Sunday, when Madiba took his first steps to freedom, and when man took a giant leap for mankind. We were there when our country kept up its fight for freedom, when a young athlete crossed borders to cross the finish line, when South Africa welcomed the world, and when music spoke louder than words. Because for 115 years, we've been bringing you the right now. Sunday Times, the paper for the people.